This week we've been bringing you the amazing and emotional journey of three men who paddled boards across Lake Superior to raise funds for the Great Lakes Shipwreck Museum. For the conclusion of our three-part series, Crossing Lake Superior, their emotional landing at Whitefish Point after 22 hours of paddling. Corey Adkins, Stephanie Adkins, and Mark Gothel bring us the story. We just had a good conversation with a couple of the freighters that are passing. Yeah. They wish you guys safe travels. They're going to give you some room. They were entertained by the fact that there's three guys trying to cross Lake Superior on the <laughs> paddle boards. <laughs> good. As long as somebody's entertained. Whitefish Point was in sight, the lighthouse doing what it's supposed to do, guide mariners. That was actually very cool to be using that. Our lighthouse was our, our guiding light to, to bring everybody in and to round out this, this adventure. Paddling through the night with that beacon of hope, you know, the, the lighthouse, that's, it was nice because it's not just a lighthouse, it's the one that we're going to, it's where the museum is, and it's literally calling us with a flash of light. It was just around 5 a.m. July 11th, 2018. Family, friends, and supporters gathered at Whitefish Point to welcome the guys home. They're bragging, but exciting. <laughs> They're amazing. Mind you, we get to Whitefish Point, and we stop, and we have a brief meeting with the guys and talk to them, and now there's enough light that we can see the shore. We can also see a lot of fishing nets. They were just offshore. Fishing nets prevented the boats from getting any closer. This was their final break. We are less than one mile from shore. It was also caught live on Michigan this morning. Thousands of people were watching. And you are taking a live look from Whitefish Point right now. And you can see Jeff Guy, Joe Lawrence, and Quinn Morris paddling their way to shore. Then something special, breathtaking happened. Because when you get to shore, it's a storm. People want to hug you, you know, it's crazy. So to be able to calm and sit and talk with just those two guys about what we did, and we're tearing up again, crying out there. And then the biggest freighter on the Great Lakes, one of the biggest freighters, goes by behind us. It was an emotion not lost on the guys or the people on shore, but now it was time for Quinn, Jeff, and Joe to end their adventure across Lake Superior. It was pretty special to see Melissa up on shore and also my parents and everybody else that made the trip because, I mean, it was 5.45 in the morning. It shows a lot of dedication. Three men from Stand Up for Great Lakes paddled close to 60 miles in less than 22 hours. It was anyone's guess as to why the lake was so calm. Was it a blessing from Mizupishu or just plain luck? You've got to see it to understand it. Um, the amount of human spirit exerted in this event is something that it's deeply touching. Take what you want from it, but maybe, just maybe, the respect and love these guys give to our lakes was given back, something worth standing up for. They prepared for the absolute worst, they got the best, and they just crushed their crossing in a, a very, very sound manner. <laughs> for 9 and 10 News, I'm Corey Edkins. And this series is only a small part of what happened on their journey. You can see the full documentary of Crossing Lake Superior here on 9 and 10 News on Thanksgiving Day.